Yeah. I'm happy with the fact that this is a very on the nose. I think it's a brave uh, series. And, uh, It makes me very proud to be involved in it because it isn't just escapism, it, 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 it is there. And um, to listen to the news as you're going to work is it's pretty spooky. Am I allowed to talk? You know, you bring microphones, three of the five, I was pretty much screwed. Uh, I have to say, though, that uh, it always amazes me how these guys are continually refresh and, it's, uh, and these are the chairs for Elijah and for Bond and David because uh, those guys do an amazing job continually refreshing this show. So just when you think you've got a handle, I, I feel this way, just when I think I've got a handle on it and I know where it's going, it takes me in a completely different direction and Tori kills Kelly and you're like, what the hell just happened? I couldn't believe it. You just, Man. And I think that the I think the, the way that they keep it topical without it being fridgy, um, and that it just is referential. And what I what's really amazing is when people think that they know what Ron's politics are, and they think, oh well, it's really a very liberal uh, point of view. And people think, oh, it's a really conservative point of view because he, I think they do a pretty good job of treading the line when just when you're ready to say, okay, it's this way, and they are, they hate the war and all the rest of it. It brings you back around to the other side. So uh, that's one of the most amazing things about this show. Okay, I'm done. I, th I think, to expand on that, I think the show is, um, it, it touches on what Mark was saying. It's a political allegory, it touches on religion, and it's very existential, and that was what you said when we found out where silence, how do, how do the characters reconcile that? Was, like Michael just said, how do you, you, you've got, we have a whole set, a whole backstory, a history of who we are, and then somebody says, you're something else. You just, it's impossible to accept that. That's what I love about the struggle of Final Four in these first two episodes, is that just because we've had this revelation doesn't mean we automatically just throw on the old centurion suit and let's go and be silent. There's, you just, you wouldn't do that. I mean, we have, we have what we thought was a, a complete human life, and a, a history, and, and memories, and a, allegiances and loyalties, and so I love the existential uh, aspects of the show. And the religious and the political, and I, I, like I said, the show hits it bang on the nose, and if that offends certain people, so be it. But at least we're making television for folks. Series now we look like uh, babies. It's, it's just, even us old guys, we look so uh, new uh, in the uh, in the mini series. But to have to play a character that, that's gone on a four-year arc is is an absolute gift. And I just read the next episode we're going to shoot on the plane over here, and still you're reading it going, oh my god, you're not serious. Whoa, no, that can't be. Oh man. Because these guys have got so much nerve, uh, and, it, it, and then you pull it off. You think, you can't do that. This, this can't not happen. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, then you watch the episode and go, wow, wow, wow. And it just keeps happening. And reading, like I say, reading the episodes that we're about to shoot. It, it is what is it like for the network to be using such a high-profile, high-quality show? Like, is there a void that you're going to feel when this is gone? Void. When it's going to be over? Yeah. Yeah, it's terrifying. Uh, and really uh, bittersweet. And kind of weird because we're used to being the ones to say, okay, we're going to cancel your show. And we're really not used to except producers saying, actually, we're canceling our own show. Uh, and we're like, really? Because it's doing so well. We're on the cover of Entertainment Weekly, and can't we just do it? But I have to say that, um, and, and hopefully with uh, Caprica, which um, I don't know if you guys have heard about Caprica, we're doing this. Uh, Uh, it's amazing, and it's going to be it's going to be its own standalone uh, show, but we'll have a lot of the same elements I think uh, that uh, Battlestar has in terms of 
depth of character and, and issues and uh, great, great storytelling, but there really is nothing like Battlestar. And I have to say that it's been a real privilege to be involved in a show like this and to be able to kind of step back and say, okay, it's been scary as hell. Uh, I mean, it's, I remember just from the very first scripts where it's like, okay, you want to crack the baby neck and carriage and... <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to love that one. Interceptors, immediate launch. We will not like it.